my hair is a fucking mess right now and there's nothing i can do to fix it so you're just gonna have to deal with it i'm sorry but anyway real talk time i figured it made sense to make one of these videos every now and again to kind of interact with you guys kind of let you guys in on what's going on in the life of just aspect himself no jokes aside i just wanted to make this video because at the moment i'm thinking of not per se doing some changes but actually yeah kind of I'm thinking of changing a couple of things about how I go about the things that I do, as well as explaining why some changes have happened that have already happened that you might have noticed. Because at the moment that I'm recording this, it is the 13th of October. It is currently 5.56 p.m. and I actually have to leave the house in like 40 minutes. And one big thing I'm gonna have to start working on soon enough, probably like this week, is recording videos to stockpile for the 12 games of Christmas because that series is definitely the hardest one to create out of all of the series on my entire channel because it takes so long. First of all, making these videos is not something that can be done in like 20 minutes, you know? So one of these videos already takes a pretty significant amount of time. Obviously, it heavily depends on what kind of video it is. As for example, this video I'm making right now, this isn't gonna take too much time to create. And that's partially why I like to make one of these every now and again, because I view it as giving myself at least a little break on all of the crazy editing and everything else that I do. Just being a bit down to earth every now and again and just talking one-on-one. -on -one. The 12 Games of Christmas, if you don't know, is a series that I do every Christmas and I upload these videos during the 12 days of Christmas. The idea of this series is that in every episode, I play a game that I have never shown on the channel before. Those are the rules. It cannot contain games I've shown on the channel before, or sequels slash prequels of games I've already shown. And I know that I just said I'm recording this on the 13th of October, so I literally have like over two months to work on this. But you also have to realize, my life isn't what you probably think it is anymore. A lot has changed since I kind of updated you guys the last time. I mean, a lot of it is just me growing up as a person and moving on with life. Not moving on from YouTube per se, but just taking responsibilities into my own hands and just living an adult life. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make here is I don't exactly have like 40 hours a week to be sitting here in my room making videos anymore. I have significantly less free time. So I'm gonna need this time in advance if I want to get everything done on time so that we don't get a repeat of 2020 or like the last four or five games of Christmas I uploaded later than scheduled because I couldn't work ahead fast enough. <laughs> to give you an idea of what my life looks like at the moment, first of all, I work five days a week. I actually make money, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that already cuts down my free time by a significant amount. I also have a girlfriend, so that also takes significant time. No disrespect to Geometry Dash players. And that's a person I want to spend a lot of time with. Time that I, sure, I could be using to create more videos and make a more consistent upload schedule and actually work ahead more, but I choose not to because this is something I want to do. This is how I want to live my life. You may have also noticed that during 2022, the content on the channel has kind of taken a turn. One change that happened this year that I actually am pretty sad about is the cons of working five days a week and actually having a, you know, normal life is the fact that I have significantly less time to also stream. And streaming is still probably one of my favorite ways of creating content because it's just the number one way to interact with you people. And now that I don't have the ability to do that as often to the point where I can't even create a consistent streaming schedule, I'm trying, believe me, I'm trying to pinpoint times during my week where I think I would be able to stream weekly so that I can actually get back to somewhat of a schedule. Because if you remember around this time last year, I had a very consistent streaming, what? I had a very consistent streaming schedule of streaming twice a week. I would stream on, I believe it was Wednesday and Saturday, if I recall, and then uploading videos on Monday and Friday. So that's four days of aspect content a week. And I was very happy about it and it was going very well. 2022, at least so far, we obviously still have a little bit bit more to go. It's, it's hard to put into words. It's kind of been all around. The start of the year, I feel like was very, very rough. Then it got better. Then it kind of got worse again. Then it got better. It's just been a fucking roller coaster. I really don't know how to feel about it. But you know what? You know what I do have to say about all of these changes that have happened? As much as I do wish to go back to a time where I could still keep 
up with my upload schedule because at the moment I'm still struggling a little bit with that. Not as much in the sense of I don't have time to make videos, but also a little bit in the sense of I'm a bit low on content ideas. Obviously, there's still some games we gotta finish, which I will do. But the motto of this channel, if you've ever looked at my YouTube banner at all, is variety to the next level. If I'm just gonna keep pumping out random let's plays, even though they're super fun to do, I'm not sticking with that motto. The reason I've made videos such as the Dr. Pepper vs. Coca-Cola challenge, for example, or a vlog that I'm actually working on that is not yet finished and it's gonna take a crap load of time, but I will get it done. Things like aspect memes, aspect reading your comments, all that shit is because I want to do it all. I want there to be as much variety as possible on the channel because we all have different tastes and our tastes also change over time. That's completely normal. So I want to make sure that as tastes change and as people from different, I don't want to say cultures, but different interests discover the channel, they will all have something to watch. But getting back to what I was saying initially, as much as I would like to go back to a time where I can keep up with a consistent upload schedule without missing any uploads whatsoever, as well as keeping up with the consistent streaming schedule, as much as I wish I could go back to a time like that, as I look back to those days, as well as where I am today, I got zero fucking regrets as to what I did. Put me into like September 2021 right now, I would do the exact same thing again. Some people might say that I didn't take the right path, that I could have done some things better, but this is where I am now. And would I do it again? Absolutely. fucking lutely Life's gonna change plenty of times. There's never really a time for too long where you can have a consistent pattern of everything. And if you do have a consistent pattern of everything for a very long time, that means you're not evolving. I am super happy with what we have already built on the platform. This little corner, I guess, that we have all to ourselves. Like a big group around a campfire. That's one way you can look at it. I probably made this sound like I'm about to drop some kind of like bomb. Like I'm gonna say, I'm leaving YouTube or I'm taking a break or something like that. But honestly, I ain't going anywhere. I'm staying right here where I am. I'm staying right here where I've always been. So I guess... Look forward to more aspect content soon.